welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel today we are going to discuss another type of the fever in since last many videos i am discussing the different types of fever or the different types of the causes of the fever so today's interesting topic is dengue fever presented by myself professor dr r r desh pande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kaya chikitsa and kriya shari for online paid consultation or online paid classes you can definitely whatsapp me on 9226810630 so my dear friends let us start to discuss about dengue fever so this is the topic from kaya chikitsa subject of fourth year bams bachelor of ayurvedic medicine and surgery this topic is under the cover of ccim syllabus so this is syllabus wise topic this is coming from kaya chikitsa paper 1 part b and point number 1 you are expected to give the short answer questions saq for the different types of fever so this is a fever is a big topic and today we will discuss about dengue fever so cause of the dengue fever is a virus from female mosquito aedes aegypti is transmitted to the man do you understand so it is mosquito bite fever incubation period what is incubation period when the mosquito bites you and after few days you will start the symptoms so getting the cause in your body and getting the results or getting the symptoms the time period in between the incubation uh, the the bite and the symptoms is incubation period for dengue fever for the different diseases there are different types of incubation period for the dengue fever incubation period is 5 to 9 days how is the acute onset try to understand symptoms will start urgently immediately so that is called as a acute there are two types of the diseases acute disease and the chronic disease how will disease start the patient will get high fever with rigor and sweating very very high fever 102 degrees fahrenheit 103 degrees fahrenheit definitely above 100 degrees but that is also with rigor actually let me tell you my dear friends fever with rigor is having only three important diseases number 1 malaria you must suspect malaria number 2 dengue fever and number 3 urinary tract infections so fever with rigor differential diagnosis please write down fever with rigor two important causes in your medical general practice number 1 malaria number 2 dengue fever and number 3 urinary tract infection next important symptom of dengue fever severe maddening very very bad and severe frontal headache pain behind the eyeballs is very severe headache is there so this is it is egypti the particular uh, victim or the causative factor this will bite you and you will get the dengue fever then there will be severe backache severe pain in long bones at the insertion of tendons and ligaments please follow my cursor do you understand so severe pain in the long bones severe backache that is why the dengue fever is also called as very important name synonym break bone fever break bone fever is dengue fever why it is called as a break bone because severe pain in the humerus in the femur in the in the upper extremities or in the lower extremities the pain will be in the bones so dengue temperature curve do you understand first on the first day it will very high near about 102 degrees fahrenheit then 101 then it will come down little bit 100 then 99 again it will go up again it will go up so on the first two days there will be high fever in between 3 4 and 5th day there will be little bit lower fever and on the 6th and 7th day there will be again high fever this is characteristic 
डेंगू टेम्परेचर कर द स्टूडेंट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू ड्रॉ दिस फिगर ऑन द फर्स्ट टू डेज देर विल बी हाई फीवर इन बिटवीन थ्री फोर फाइव डेज फीवर विल बी ऑन द लोअर साइड अगेन इट विल शुट सो दिस कर इज इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन एग्जामिनेशन ओ टेम्परेचर इज रेस्ड comes down by a crisis immediately drop down on the third day but again goes up on the fourth or fifth day this typical saddle shaped temperature curve of dengue you must remember this name peculiar name saddle shaped temperature curve saddle shaped temperature curve i will go a little bit back can you see up down up up down up this is called as saddle uh, because the shape is like a saddle saddle shaped temperature curve is a typical feature of vyadhi pratyatma lakshan of dengue fever rash next is a rash prodromal rash blotchy erythema that is red color or simple flushing of face true rash appears on the 6th day measles like character but on the dorsal aspect of hand and feet then it spreads toward the trunk okay but remember here there will not be any rash on the face there will not be any rash on the face that is why here face is spared no rash on the face okay only hands and feet and then trunk generalized lymphadenopathy but specifically it will be cervical lymph glands will be enlarged now pulse relative bradycardia like typhoid you must know what is relative bradycardia everybody knows about the students knows tachycardia pulse rate normal yes tell me what is the normal pulse rate 80 per minute but when it is 100 110 120 zero, zero per minute pulse rate that is called as a tachy tachycardia but when pulse rate is 70 per minute 60 per minute 50 per minute that is bradycardia but here it is not simple bradycardia try to understand the word is different relative bradycardia is seen in typhoid also relative bradycardia is seen in dengue fever now concentrate listen carefully listen carefully i am not going further i am explaining you relative bradycardia now for example my pulse rate is 80 per minute normal okay and my body temperature is 98 degrees is normal now if i get the fever i am explaining this term in spite of 98 i get the fever 99 then my pulse rate will increase from 80 to 90 when my temperature will rise from 98 99 100 then there should be increase of 20 rate pulse rate for 1 degrees fahrenheit for 1 degree fahrenheit the number 10 is increased in pulse rate but here it is not occurring that for example in from 98 to 101 how much should be the pulse rate increase 30 number 80 plus 30 110 should be pulse rate but it is not like that it is only 100 so it is not increasing as the temperature rises it is comparatively on the lower side pulse rate increases okay that is increases but not up to the mark of the fever fever is high but pulse rate is not that much high that is called as relative bradycardia one sentence i will repeat fever will be too high very much high but pulse rate will not be too much high that is called as with compared to fever the pulse rate is not high that is relative bradycardia is it clear write down these things delirium insomnia loss of sleep irrelevant talk usual course of the disease viral fever 6 to 9 days but prolonged convalescence that is weakness due to muscular weakness the patient will have the tired knee fatigue weakness for 15 days one month he will feel weak w e a k okay that is called as a convalescence post fever weakness post fever weakness now complications the most important for dengue fever you must not forget complication why we admit the patient why we admit the dengue fever because 
there is a serious complication like hemorrhage under skin or mucous membrane bleeding bleeding dangerous otitis media bronchopneumonia herpes labialis these are the complications of dengue fever that is we better to admit the patient of dengue fever okay let us see investigation for dengue fever ns1 blood test is positive ns1 positive hemogram reduced platelet count what is normal platelet count tell me 2.5 to 4.5 lakhs per cubic mm 2.5 to 4.5 lakhs per cubic mm this is normal but this is reduced platelet count so there will be bleeding because platelets are important for normal clotting process blood stops blood stops bleeding if unnecessary bleeding is stopped because of the platelet platelets are also called as tell me tell me platelets are also called as a yes thrombocytes thrombocytes okay so this is responsible for controlling the bleeding but here reduced platelet so there will be bleeding leukopenia what is leukocytes yes white blood cell white blood cells are reduced in number for example normal count of leukocyte is 4 to 11000 write down please 4 to 11000 per cubic mm is a normal leukocyte count but that count is reduced that means it is around 4000 per cubic mm 3.5000 per cubic mm okay leukocytosis means excess leukopenia is less okay then very important feature in the pbs peripheral blood smear when you examine the blood smear under microscope the doctor will find pathologist will see toxic granulation of polymorph what is polymorph there are five types of wbc neutrophil eosinophil basophil lymphocyte monocyte are you writing yes neutrophil eosinophil lymphocyte basophil monophil monocytes so polymorph means neutrophils there will be toxic granulation in urine examination there will be oliguria less urine in the 24 hours in the day time it will be less urine okay then albuminuria there will be albumin will be present in the urine that is called as a five blood test five physical five chemical and five microscopic test so albumin will be present normally it should not be present but in dengue fever albumin will be present in urine now next immunological test anti dengue igg test anti dengue blood test igm test that is elisa test okay next as dengue fever is a viral fever most of the times there is no specific treatment for viral types of the diseases okay symptomatic treatment with analgesics and antipyretic which will reduce the pain analgesics means pain reducing tablet and antipyretic means it will control the fever never use aspirin most important red color can you see never use dispirin aspirin never because there will be chances of bleeding okay due to fear of hemorrhage bleeding you can give paracetamol prosin two tablets tds my dear friends write down ayurvedic tablet is maha sudarshan ganavati will you please write down maha sudarshan ganavati two tablets three times a, three times in a day and also guruchi ganavati please write down for dengue guruchi ganavati two tablets three times in a day ayurvedic medicines that i am telling you but for dengue fever everybody says prevention is better than cure control the breeding of mosquito around your house dengue when you admit the patient in the hospital which type of treatment is given injection monosef sef try exon 1 g bd direct okay injection pan pentaprazole that is antacid 40 mg once in a day injection m set on dancetron this is generic name 
this is brand name injection m set on dan set wrong this is anti emetic the patient will not get gastritis patient will not get vomiting okay 4 mg bd and most important is ayurvedic style of medicines papaya extract it will increase the platelet count papaya extract will increase the platelets count and naturally bleeding will stop tablet caripril tablet caripril one morning one evening so my dear friends today's lecture was about dengue fever this is kaya chikitsa lecture internal medicine of Ayur ayurvedic internal medicine for fourth year bms the lecture was based on ccim syllabus the question will be definitely asked in the viva in the oral in the written okay paper 1 part b point number 1 fever that is dengue fever okay but remember this is educational video vaidani kishara kaunsi bhi bimari mein athavashyak yatha kal vaidyakiya salaha lena bahut hi zarurat hai okay thank you very much take care and bye bye okay